So you're probably familiar with the general appearance of DNA as it's represented here in this computer model, make it active. It's a double helix of two polymeric strands. Now if we unwind those strands, we can see the stacked nucleotides that form this link structure. Now what I'm going to do is take five of those nucleotides out of the DNA helix in diagrammatic form and bring them out here so that we can go through them in just a little bit more detail. So as I mentioned, DNA is a polymer of linked nucleotides. And these nucleotides are little repeating units that go down one strand, and on the other strand, they go the other way. So these are anti-parallel strands. We'll get into why that is in a minute. The, the major structural components of DNA is that they all share a deoxyribose sugar backbone and nitrogenous bases. The nitrogenous bases are the information carriers of the genetic material. The nucleotides themselves are linked together by phosphodiester bonds. And if we zoom in here, you can see why DNA has a negative charge. Now, these DNA molecules have these nucleotides that are linked in a directional manner. So if we zoom in on the ribose, you can see that the linkage of the phosphodiester bonds occurs at the five prime carbon, and you can see the numbering of the carbons around the ribose here, as well as the three prime carbon. And so DNA is inherently directional. We read and write DNA from the five prime direction to the three prime direction. That's not coincidentally, the direction in which enzymes which replicate DNA also extend a growing chain. All right, now back to the nitrogenous bases. There are two kinds. There are purines, adenine and guanine, and there are pyrimidines, thymine and cytosine. And there are also rules governing which can bind to which by hydrogen bonding, these so-called base pairing rules. And in the base pairing rules, cytosine can bind with guanine, and adenine can bind with uh, thymine. And this forms the, the basis of the genetic code. Now, in RNA, thymine is actually uracil, small point. Now, a beautiful little feature of knowing this hydrogen bonding pairing rules is that if you know the sequence on one strand of DNA, you automatically know the sequence on the other strand of DNA. So if this reads A, C, G, T, T cross 5 prime to 3 prime, on the other strand going the other direction, it's going to read A, A, C, G, T. Now, put these back into the helix. I'll tuck them in. So here are the nucleotides. We'll put them back in there and twist it back up into this helical, right-handed helical spiral of antiparallel strands, where you can clearly see that the bases form sort of a, a semi-stacked ladder, like steps on a staircase. 